Hello and welcome to another episode of the UK series of Dice. Hope you have seen our UK episode on the Great Conjunction 2020. If you have still not seen it, then we recommend you to watch that video. We have given its link in the description below. We have received some very encouraging comments and suggestions. We thank you for all the feedback. As mentioned in our earlier video, today we bring to you Jupiter, the wonder kid of our solar system. Before we get started, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, then click that subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to get all updates. Hi friends, let me surprise you with one of the most amazing things about Jupiter. This will literally overturn your years of understanding about our solar system. You know, Jupiter is the only planet in our system which doesn't orbit around the Sun. Well, technically. Yes, you heard me right. Jupiter does not orbit the Sun and the Sun is not the center of our solar system. Thanks to Jupiter. Space science is so interesting. I always knew it. Okay, let me explain to you this quickly before we see other interesting facts about Jupiter. The answer lies in a scientific concept, center of mass. Look at this ruler. Suppose you want to balance it on your fingertip. Where will you place your fingertip? Exactly at the center of the ruler. That's 15 cm mark on the standard 30 cm ruler. Simple, right? Now look at the hammer here. Where do you think this hammer will balance? Definitely not at its center. The point at which we can balance the hammer is much more nearer to the hammer head, where the majority of hammer's mass is concentrated. Similarly, in space, two or more objects orbiting each other also have a center of mass. It is this point around which the given objects orbit each other. This point is called the Barry's center of objects. The Barry center is usually closer to the object with higher mass. So, if you consider Earth and Sun, the Sun is much more massive compared to Earth. So, the Barry center of Sun-Earth system is inside the Sun. But, in case of Jupiter, it has a mass of 317 times that of Earth. In fact, its mass is greater than twice the mass of all other planets put together. Now, that's a really heavy planet. Because of the huge mass of Jupiter, the Sun-Jupiter system has its barrier center just outside the Sun. So, although practically we say Sun is the center of the solar system, technically because of Jupiter's huge mass, Jupiter does not revolve around the Sun, but around a point outside the Sun. Amazing, isn't it? We request you to watch this video till end to learn about recent discoveries about Jupiter. And also we recommend that you should go out and watch Jupiter in December and January given the clear wind of sky. Now let us look at some more interesting and fascinating facts about this planet. Size: Jupiter has a radius of 69,911 kilometers. That's like 11 times wider than Earth. So if Earth was the size of nickel, then Jupiter would be the size of a basketball. Mass. We have already seen that Jupiter's mass is more than double the mass of all other planets put together. But interesting part is, even if Jupiter's mass increase, its size still remain the same. It is believed Jupiter will end up being four times its current mass in future but its size won't change. Oh, how much I wish I could impart this quality. Gravity. It has crushing gravity of 2.5 times that of Earth, highest in our solar system, only after the Sun. So ladies, don't go on date to Jupiter. It's pretty heavy there. Would you believe the planet Mercury is susceptible to Jupiter's gravity? Jupiter's constant gravitational tux could pull Mercury off its course. This has a probability of only 2% and that too in next 4 billion years. However, if it happens, this could eject Mercury from the solar system altogether or send it on collision course with Venus, the Sun or Earth. A collision with Earth is truly worrisome, but since it may happen after few billions of years, there is no immediate worry. 
we would have definitely inhabited a few more planets in our solar system or some other system by then. Rotation Jupiter is a giant spinning top. Despite its huge size, it's the fastest rotating planet in our system. It takes only 10 Earth hours to complete a day and night cycle on Jupiter. I start feeling much better by just imagining taking a nap every 5 hours. Mmm, nice. Composition. This planet is just like sun made out of helium and hydrogen. Only difference is there is no fusion, else we would have second sun in our solar system. Some people also call it a failed star. High pressure and temperature turns the hydrogen liquid, creating solar system's biggest ocean, an ocean made of hydrogen and not water. Atmosphere. Jupiter has an extreme atmosphere filled with colorful bands and spots. Jupiter's fast rotation creates strong jet streams separating the gas clouds in dark and bright zones. Atmosphere contains water vapor, ammonia gas in abundance, along with other gases. Moons Jupiter actually is like a smaller scale solar system. It has 53 confirmed moons and 26 provisional. Four of the largest moons are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Just like Jupiter, its moons are also amazing. Io is the most volcanically active body in the solar system. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system, even bigger than the planet Mercury. Europa may contain liquid water ocean. Oh man! Now let's see some of the Jupiter's real show-offs. Great red spot, a swirling mystery. It's raging for more than 150 years with size twice of Earth and winds speaking at 400 miles per hour. That means 643 km per hour. Stripes, clouds of many colors. The planet is covered in thick red, brown, yellow and white clouds. The clouds make the planet look like it has stripes. The reasons for the rich detail and colors and swirls are currently unknown. Pearls, string of pearls, a series of massive counterclockwise rotating stones that appear as white ovals. They have varied from six to nine pearls from time to time. Auroras, perpetual light show. On Earth, we get amazed with northern lights. Imagine a perpetual light show on Jupiter. On Earth, these are caused due to solar storms, but on Jupiter, it's generated by planets on a magnetic field. NASA has been studying Jupiter with space missions like Juno, which give a new understanding of the planet regularly. Some of recent findings of Juno are really fascinating. Juno's microwave instrument indicates that the entire northern equatorial belt, a broad brown cyclonic band that wraps around the planet just above the gas giant's equator, is generally a very dry region indicating vast region of Jupiter's atmosphere is drier and hotter than other areas. The data sent by Juno also shows these hot spots flanked by clouds and active storms are fueling high altitude electrical discharges, recently discovered by Juno, known as shallow lightning. High up in the atmosphere, where shallow lightning is seen, water and ammonia combine and become invisible to Juno's microwave instrument. This is where a special kind of hailstone that we call mush ball is formed. On Earth, hailstone is made up of water, while on Jupiter, it is ammonia and water mixture clothed in ice crystal. These mush balls get heavy and fall deep into the atmosphere, creating a large region that is depleted of both ammonia and water. Once the mush balls melt and evaporate, the ammonia and water change back to a gaseous state and are visible to Juno again. Thus, Juno has answered decade-old mysteries, Jupiter's atmosphere being hotter and denser than estimated by scientists and Ammonia missing in certain regions which were expected to be abandoned with it. We certainly hope we find more interesting news about the Wonder Kid. To know more about Jupiter, you should definitely visit www.nasa.gov.
stay tuned for another episode of buk series with many such interesting facts on space let us know what you think about buk jupiter wonder kit in the comment section below if you like this video then click on the like button and share it with your friends in case you have still not subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and hit that bell icon bye